Hey guys, just before the video starts, I forgot to mention this. Uh, although I opened it like a complete animal, I am doing a giveaway of this mouse that I review in the video, like the mouse that I review in this video. So if you want to enter the giveaway for it, just drop a like on the video for me and then drop a comment down below. I'm going to basically use like a random generator and throw all the people that comment in. Only comment once, don't spam comments, but drop a comment down below. Let me know you want to enter the giveaway or just comment whatever you want. And then I'm going to put it into a random generator about a week from now and I'll announce it on Twitter and all that and I'll get in contact with you. It's a really interesting mouse. Uh, watch the review. I'll actually throw in the skates that came with it. As as well so yeah if you want to enter the giveaway for this mouse uh just drop a like and comment and i will get you in if you don't happen to win the giveaway that's fine the mouse is available in best buy gamestop and amazon i believe best buy and gamestop in the store as well as lex ip's official store which i'll drop the links to that down below so if you do want to go pick up this mouse for purchase after this video be sure to go check out the links down below and let them know i sent you and uh with that being said please enjoy the video Monster Saturday! What's going on, guys? My name is Jack or Jack the Bus, and welcome to my first ever. Oh wait, this is this is Sunday. I, I messed up the call. Welcome to my first ever Sponsor Sunday. I get a lot of emails from companies, you know, reaching out like, "Hey, do you want to promote this product? Do you want to promote that product?" And usually I say no because a lot of them don't really have to do with what the the kind of content that I make. But recently, this company named Lex IP, L E X I P. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's just pixel backwards, basically. They reached out to me and they said they have this new mouse that they're coming out with they just partnered with best buy and i believe ubisoft and uh yeah basically the, the email just really intrigued me because what they described to me i i couldn't really understand they described it as the first ever 3d mouse that integrated two joysticks and i didn't i was like 3d mouse joysticks i was like what does that even mean and once i saw it, i was like i gotta check this out for myself like i gotta i gotta see what this is all about and being the absolute monkey that i am i just tore open the box so like it, the, the box doesn't look very pretty they basically sent me their mouse they even sent me some uh extra glide feet ceramic glide feet very surprisingly nice case for like mouse feet i don't know that that's that's really nice so he sent me this i want to just give a special shout out to lex ip really quickly or lex i lex zip pixel i don't know lex ip thank you so much for sending this out to me it was really cool checking it out it's, i think it's very unique product for sure so i've been using this mouse the past couple of weeks to kind of gather my thoughts about it um what it's good for what it's not good for what the pros are what the cons are and i kind of think i have a general idea of uh who would be able to buy this mouse like who would get use out of this mouse and who wouldn't so without further ado let's just jump right into you know my thoughts on everything so the first thing that really caught my attention about this mouse was the application that you uh like the software that you install with it this caught my attention because it's a very intuitive software you have so much to change you first off you, you're greeted with a dpi settings of course so you can basically adjust that to whatever you want up to like twelve thousand, which no one really would use and then you move over to the options where you can basically bind the mouse to almost anything i mean you can change the left button the right button the wheel up wheel down the lex ip button that it comes with that changes the dpi you can basically change anything about it and then you can move over to the axis which is you know what this mouse is known for and it's basically sitting on an axis on the actual mouse itself and then it has the scroll wheel on the side now the axis that it's on is what intrigued me the most i think because you can bind it to pretty much anything i did left right arrows for the rotation left and right and then up down arrows for rotation forward and backward you'll see in a little bit why uh, i kind of messed with it on a couple different games and then the stick up and down is horizontal scroll and stick forward backward is vertical scroll now what i thought was the coolest about this software is that you can go up to the top right settings and change it to where it knows which game is open like you change the application path basically or knows which websites open so you basically change it to where it knows what's open and it changes the mouse configurations based on what you open i thought that was the coolest part about this is because it's a very intelligent mouse because you can basically tell it what exactly to do and when exactly to do it you can also go to the advanced settings and mess with the dead zone which i didn't do too much with but you know more customization is nice now with that being said here's the mouse itself i don't have the the colors on or anything right now i don't know if you can even see if it'll focus it's very interesting how it sits on this axis it completely bewilders me because i've never seen anything like this mouse before it reminds me a lot of the razor orb weaver where i think it'll be really good for people you know with disabilities that aren't able to use the the maximum capabilities of their hands like a full keyboard you're able to do pretty much anything with just the mouse since you're able to put it on an axis i even tried one-handed csgo and that went interestingly oh okay no no hand on keyboard you can see in the back <laughs> here we go baby let's ah no I'm, I'm dodging oh okay turn okay perfect you need to go get the bomb okay 
I need to reload with the keyboard. You can see I'm not using the keyboard in the background. Easy peasy. This is my this is my ultimate test. Boom. Oh no. Oh no. No worries. Oh. Lead up. Why is the bomb so far away? I feel like I could I could bind like my keys to to the side joystick, but I'm all I'm just I'm just bad. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Easy row. Oh, I'm strafing on. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, there's two. Oh, pro gamer. Let's shift to the left. They're all just standing there. Those fools. They don't know the one-handed god that they're dealing with. After using the mouse for a bit, I think that this, you know, this main, this main axis on the middle, like that it's sitting on, is gonna be best for plane type games, you know, automobile type games that, where you're flying and stuff. I'll drop links down in the description below if you want to see them talk about those kind of things, but I'm not very well versed with those, that genre. So I don't think it's really my place to speak on it because I was mostly intrigued on this impacting you know first person shooters and stuff which i'm about to get to with the side joystick so yeah if you're into those kind of games be sure to go check out those videos i linked below i think they made a lot of good points of what this can do uh, with those types of games now with that being said let's move on to the side joystick which i found a lot more use in for fps's like rainbow six and csgo i streamed myself using this joist the side joystick in rainbow six for a little bit and i really started to pick up using the side joystick for leaning left and right it felt very comfortable and it felt very familiar after just a short period of time like it took like maybe one game to really get used to it see the benefit i found is that whenever you're leaning left and right in rainbow six siege you have to take your fingers off a and d and move them up to q and e if you're going to want to lean this takes away the advantage of actually strafing from side to side when leaning but if you do bind the leaning to the joystick on the side of this mouse you're taking away that need to move your fingers off a and d and you're actually just putting it on the mouse on your thumb that's not being used anyways this gives you the ability to peek corners without taking your fingers off strafing peeking corners i found it very beneficial after just one game you can also use it for inventory type stuff on csgo since there's no leaning in that so that's just swapping between weapons and whatnot i think if you do pick up this mouse the side joystick is a much better choice for fps or competitive games in comparison to the mouse joystick that it's sitting on now with that being said i did try a little bit with the mouse joystick uh for rainbow six leaning which went kind of interestingly i think with a little bit of training you could get used to it but here here's what happened all right let's uh test this here we got oh wait so we got lean on e and q over here on the keyboard in the in the background but let's let's push right on the mouse <laughs> and then left on the mouse and left again to cancel it interesting why are they shooting at me through the wall Terrorists are getting smart, man. I have lean on my mouse. You can't stop me, terrorist. I've grown stronger than you could ever imagine. Kind of weird how comfortable this feels. I don't. I don't know. It takes a lot of discipline to keep your hand like not turning on the mouse because I feel like that's just a natural instinct. Like whenever you're in a firefight, to move your hand like that. But I think with like a little bit of getting used to, so it actually prove semi useful. Oh, I didn't see you. You were hiding. There you go, bud. Very, very interesting. I feel like with some getting used to, that could be really cool. And uh, yeah, guys, with that being said, that is basically my review of the Lex IP um, 3D mouse with two joysticks. Again, I find this very interesting. I'm probably going to use this mostly on Rainbow Six Siege now because I found it very beneficial where you don't have to take your fingers off leaning. I found that really insane. 
how useful the joystick is. I literally found myself after that game not even moving my fingers up to Q and E like that muscle memory that I once had. So yeah, I'll leave all the links down below for Lex IP. If you want to check out the mouse yourself, if you want to see more information, again, those videos are down below. I really hope you guys did enjoy this first ever sponsored Sunday. I, I'd like to do these kind of things more often because like I said, a lot of people do reach out to me and typically I try to filter through them for stuff that's actually relevant to the channel. And I thought this was pretty accurate. Let me know your thoughts on this mouse down below. If you would use it, if you wouldn't, why exactly on both sides? And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.